guys, one thing that you're gonna start seeing on your Saxons is measuring to the nearest quarter inch. So let's do a few reminders before we get into this. Remember that a, a fraction is part over whole. The part is the numerator and the whole is the denominator. And our, our little trick to remember that is the nurse comes in before the doctor. So it's part over whole. So a quarter inch, we've always talked about how QUA or QUA always means four pieces. So it takes four quarters to make a dollar. It takes four quarts to make a gallon. And if I do a quadruple flip, I do four flips. So anytime you see qua or a quarter inch, we're talking about a piece out of four. And then I want you guys to remember that half is one over two. And anytime that you have two quarters, since two is half of four, we can also just call that a half if you have two quarters. And I'll show you that a little bit closer in just a second. This ruler is not to scale. This is not a real life inch. I just kind of took a ruler and blew it up so that we can see this here. So we're gonna look at this, this inch section between the three and the four. So this longer hash mark right here cuts the inch in half. So if our line segment went to here, we would have one, two, three whole inches where we have the whole thing, and then half of another inch. And so we would write it like this. But we're gonna start talking about quarter inches. So let's look at this section between one and two. We can divide this inch into four pieces. Here's one quarter piece. There's two quarters, and do you see how that would make a half? Once you get to the two quarter mark, we just call that half like we had here. And then here's the third quarter piece of the inch, and then we've gone to a whole other inch right here. So if our line segment reached right here, we would have one whole inch, and this hash mark would be a quarter of another inch. So we would write it like this. Do you see how this has divided the inch into four equal sections? And that's why each piece that's this size is called a quarter, because it would take four of this size to fill in this whole inch right here. So this would be one and one quarter one and two quarters, which we call a half, one and three quarters, and then we've gone all the way up to two whole inches. And we'll be practicing this more on our Saxon worksheets. Okay, now I want you to go, I've linked a video in the description of this one, and I want you to go and take a look at it, and it just shows you a little bit more on measuring to the nearest quarter inch.